Engineer Gus, and this is Engineer Sam. Let's spend some time together looking at some trains. Come on, let's go. The earliest trains consisted of passenger coaches or freight cars pulled by a separate locomotive. Until about 1900, almost every locomotive was powered by steam. Water in the boiler was heated by a very hot fire fed with coal, oil, or wood and turned into steam at high pressure. This was piped into cylinders where the pressure pushed piston back and forth. This is a pedal to open your car. This is fire. Uh, these gauges here tell you how much water is in the boiler. Uh, this is to turn that and it shows your water level. Uh, these are the brake stands. This is your power reverse. This is your th uh, throttle. This puts water into the injector. One of these days, Hoggy. Hey, wait, I can get down here. Before the train leaves the station, the engineer is careful to check all the moving parts to be sure that they're in good working condition and that they are safe. After the engineer's done with its inspection, it's time to climb aboard and get on our way. Fireman is a person who shovels coal into the steam locomotive's firebox and checks the water in its boiling.
The tender is a wagon behind the steam locomotive, which carries the coal and water for the engine. have to keep a timetable so that railroad passengers know when a train will arrive and depart at each station. They try to plan so that trains arrive at important stations at about the same time so that people or freight can transfer from one to the other without long delays. The railroad crossing lets people know that a train is on its way and to stay clear.
Here's some steam engines that work much the same way as the big engines, except they're a lot smaller. great, aren't they? And you know, trains are used for many different things. Sometimes they carry people. Sometimes they carry freight to and from different places. But sometimes they're just for fun. Come on, let's take a look at some of the different types of trains that are used to carry people. Let's go. Around the turn of the century, people in the city used to use streetcars to get to and from different places. Streetcars run on electric motors that are supplied with electricity from a wire that hangs overhead. take a lot of work and maintenance to keep them going. While I try to get Sam out of here, let's take a look at some other engineers and how they keep their trains running. Come on, Sam!
You okay, Sam? Good. You know, you have to be really careful working around steam trains. Now, let's go take a look at some modern trains that go really fast. Railways today try to run fast, efficient train services so the passengers will travel by train and not by plane or car. Trains travel faster than ever before. Tracks, signals, and the skill of train drivers have to keep improving too. The new railroads of today are centrally controlled using computers and the latest electronic communications. Now, let's take a look at a make-believe world of model trains.
not all for this journey. So until our next time together, this is Engineer Gus and Engineer Sam saying so long.